go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, uh, so my name is Christos Veregos, I'm a pastry chef. Uh, at this time, uh, I'm working as a pastry chef in Mykonos in the Jackio restaurant in Super Paradise Beach. So I'm here for uh, all the season, summer season, uh -huh. uh, making the desserts. Ah. It's a, yeah, it's a great environment. You know, Mykonos is a great island. We see all your desserts. We saw you on Mesticalicara. And we were so yep. inspired. We loved everything that you made, the curabiedes and the chocolate mask you. that you made. Everything was so nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, what type of desserts do you make over there now in Mykonos? What type of desserts? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a meringue dessert with uh, coconut uh, milk cream. Mm -hmm. uh, it's another dessert. Uh, I call it after eight because it, uh, it's chocolate mousse with uh, mint cream. Uh -huh. Like the like the original after eight, you know, uh, we are making a Greek cheesecake oh. with Greek cheese. Yeah, uh, we are making a really strong and really nice lemon pie for those who like lemon. It's one of the best, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, a semifredo with a white chocolate, and uh, every day we have something new. So uh, it's one dessert that we change it all the time. Every day it's a new one. Very nice. So, yeah, all the customers have the opportunity to try, even if they have tried all the desserts, they have the opportunity to try a new one. Uh huh. And there's a lot of tourists coming through? Uh, yeah, yeah. A you lot. know, uh, Mykonos, it's, uh, it's, at this moment, it's full. It's really full. Wow. Uh, it's one of, the, of their priority for Greek vacations, you know that. Exactly. So, at this moment, I think it's, uh, it's almost full. And it's, <laughs> they're coming all the time. Right, right, right. <laughs> Now, when you make these foods, how many do you end up making for everybody? Like, how many in a sitting's time? Okay, yeah. Uh, the, um, the issue here is that uh, we have a lot of customers. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we have to, I have to make a big preparation uh -huh. uh, because of uh, eight different uh, kind of desserts. So, you can imagine that uh, the preparation is uh, a lot. A yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it depends, you know, for example, weekends, uh, customers are double the everyday days. Exactly. Now, when you're cooking, don't you want to eat all the foods you're making? I'm doing that. <laughs> Trust me, I'm doing that. <laughs> I, love, I love sweets. I love desserts. I'm addicted you're, to sugar. Yeah, it's so good. How can you not? And all these foods look so delicious that you make. You want to eat them all. Yeah, yeah, I want. I want. What's your favorite? What's your favorite? For me, one of my favorites is uh, everything has to do with uh, milk chocolate. Uh huh. Anything chocolate. Yeah. Good choice. Good choice. Yeah. Now we also saw your fashion show, the sweet fashion too that you did. Did you like it? Yes. So impressive. Yeah. yeah, that's one part of my job that I am really, really proud of because um, it was the first one was in two thousand nine, the second one was two thousand eleven, and the third one was in uh, Canada, in Montreal, in oh, Canada. Wow. Uh, the September, the September of 2013, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a uh, sweet fashion. It was a uh, fashion walk with made of uh, clothes made of uh, edible ingredients, as uh, chocolate, sugar, uh, raisins, a lot of that. Wow! Did you come up with the idea, or did they tell you for the fashion show? Who came no, up with that? No. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm in my job. I'm, I'm really crazy because I don't like to make the. The original, you know, of course I love my job and I love all the parts of my job. Mm -hmm. So I want to make that, uh, pastry is an art. So I want to, to introduce this art to everybody. And uh, the fashion shows was one part of uh, the artistic theme of pastry. Yes, how long did it take to make those? Six months preparation. Wow. <laughs> yeah, imagine that they were clothes, like for example with the raisins that one dress had uh, 2,500 raisins one by one. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah. That is so neat though because again, you see different foods and desserts and they're all basic and plain, but to see them wearing yeah. it, that's very yeah. impressive. Do you have a favorite Instagram photo that you've posted so far? Uh, everything has to do with my knees. It's not a dessert. It's no, not a no, dessert. No. <laughs> She's sweet too. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You're very right. You're very right. Media at this, uh, at this time is, uh, is one of uh, the best uh, opportunities to advertise your job. So I am in that also. I have to. 
Exactly. And you know what's great? When you bake something, you can upload it, like different cakes that you make and stuff yeah. like that, which is nice. Exactly. And it can be like step by step, so it can be also a recipe. One can see and make it. So now tell us, when you're cooking stuff, what is the number one item that you have to cook with? Like a pastry item? A spatula? You know, or what do you use most? It's for me, uh, yeah, of course, the spatula. If, if you are going to ask me that, I'm going to answer you with uh, another way. Because I think that the first thing that I have to have is a um, good feeling. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, inspiration. That's inspiration. the best. Yeah, that's the best, and I think the number one for equipment. It's not equipment, I know that, but if you don't have inspiration, if you don't have good, uh, if you're not in a good mood, you're not going to have uh, a, a good result. Wow. For sure. See, I didn't realize this. I didn't realize that you need that inspiration to yeah. do all this. Yeah, yeah, it's the first thing. It's the first thing. Wow, what, what inspires you? Like, do you look at stuff and kind of everything, get inspired? Everything. For example, for example, here at uh, Jack Hill Beach Restaurant, um, the the environment is amazing. It's like a paradise. So all the all the things all around that the nature is a it's a huge inspiration for me. Huge inspiration. Mm -hmm. You can use like you know the um, ingredients that you can find here like peppermint and all the things, and I can use it in dessert. So then also tell us, do you make like special cakes like they have like online? I've seen they make of like purses and like teddy bears mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. all out of fondant and all that stuff. You make all of those? Mm -hmm. Yeah, last week we had a wedding here mm -hmm. and I make a wedding cake um, and the theme was the pillows. Ah, okay, the pillows. It was, it was, yeah. Oh, that's neat. What's the yeah. biggest request you've I, gotten? I, okay. Um, actually, to be honest, the pillows was um, was something really difficult because uh, I had to t to make a mold from uh, real pillows uh -huh. and cover it, you know, and doing that. So that takes me about uh, two weeks just to take the molds. Oh, so wow. imagine it was a bit hard, yeah. yeah. So but the result was like like a real pillow. Wow, that's so neat! And then you add color, food coloring to make the colors. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. Everything was edible. Everything's Everything. edible. That is very neat. What's a dream cake for you that you'd like to make? Mm, that's a good question. You know, it, it's not something like uh, like a dream. It's uh, um, the customer give me all the time the chance to make something new. Mm -hmm. So that's a level for me every time that I have to pick it up and pick it up and pick it up. Right, right, right. And how about your favorite Greek food to make? What's your favorite? Mm, uh, okay, I don't have the time to make food because uh, I, I'm a lot of uh, hours in my work. But uh, whenever I cook, um, one of my best is, uh, I, and I know it's very Greek answer, but one of my best is uh, Chaka. Okay. Yep, yep, that's, a, that's as Greek as it gets. Can tell us a little bit about your schooling. You went to school for all of this? Yeah, yeah. I went to uh, in a college in uh, South France, uh, named Ecole Nationale Supérieure de la Pâtisserie, uh, in, with the directors, the two huge names in pastry, Alain Ducasse and Yves Turiez, and it was uh, one of the best school. It is one of the best school all around the world for pastry, and I am very proud for that. Wow, that's very nice. And how long was that process? How long? It was a. Uh, about four four months. Oh, yeah. Four months. I, I'm also a teacher here in Greece. Oh, you are. Who? Yeah. The last nine years, I teach in a private school in Athens, the oh. Windows, and uh, yeah, what do you, I, I love that. I what love do you, that. What do you teach them exactly? Yeah, theory and uh, recipes. Okay, then we have a couple get to know you questions. So first off, go ahead and tell us something we may not know about you. Um. Okay. You don't know that uh, I have something next to me uh -huh. that uh, I'm going to show it to you okay. and uh, you're going to be like, that's coconut. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so neat. And the other thing that you don't know is that I'm going to give you the recipe. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> yes, go ahead and share with us the recipe. Okay, are you ready? Yep, we're ready. Okay, it's a very, very easy okay. recipe. Um, so you're going to need two eggs, okay. one egg yolk, 
250 grams of uh, icing sugar and uh, 300 grams of coconut powder. Mm -hmm. So you first mix the egg yolks with the eggs and the icing sugar and then you put the coconut powder, you mix it together and you make it like small rocks and you bake it in 200 degrees of Celsius okay. for about eight minutes. And so easy, you've got a small dessert. Oh, wow. Simple and very easy. Yeah. That's great. Everyone yeah, can that. That's something that I want to promote with uh, pastry, that mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people think that uh, pastry is something difficult, something very stressful. It's not. Pastry is simple. Uh, you just have to have your mind in the recipe and in your ingredients, and the result is going to be perfect. 